you know if you have the sickle cell trait you can experience pain like somebody that has sickle cell disease right now let me explain no you won't have sickle cell crises and no your pain isn't as bad as somebody that is going through sickle related pain if they have the condition but there are circumstances in which your body can basically be in pain because your blood cells can sickle now let me take it back to why sickle cell trait is a genetic mutation so sickle cell trait came about because it helps protect people from gravely illness from malaria so sickle cell trait what it does when you're infected with malaria is it basically causes some of your red blood cells to sickle to prevent the spread of the malaria parasite in your body causing you to get severely sick and dying now disclaimer just because you have the sickle cell trait doesn't always mean that you will be protected you still have to take precautions like get anti-malaria medication and sleep with mosquito nets and the sprays everything because you still never know you know it doesn't 100 percent guarantee you will survive if you get malaria just putting it out there now putting all of that into context do you see how you can end up experiencing pain because your red blood cells can technically sickle not even technically your red blood cells do sickle in the same way that somebody with sickle cell disease's red blood cells sickle so obviously there are circumstances that can make you more susceptible to experiencing pain which are high altitudes dehydration and over exertion during physical exercise now those are the known circumstances in which you can end up experiencing pain however answer me this if you have and know that you have the sickle cell trait haven't you ever experienced pain in your body randomly that doesn't feel like typical pain 